Exclusive reporting tonight from our own Jacob Soboroff as a court ordered deadline to reunify migrant children with their parents approached last summer. 37 kids ages 5 to 12 who were meant to be meeting their parents again were instead left stranded in vans for anywhere between 11 and 39 hours because the ICE facility holding their parents wasn't ready for the reunification. MSNBC correspondent Jacob Soboroff, who just broke this exclusive story along with Julie Ainsley, joins me now. Jacob, uh, this is wild and awful stuff. What happened here? Yeah, it's beyond awful, Chris. And, you know, there was that refrain over and over again during the separations. And then again, once the court ordered reunifications were started, uh, were supposed to start taking place, where are the children, particularly the tender aged uh, children? And now we know at least where these 37 children were when they were supposed to be uh, in the process of being reunified with their parents. They were sitting in a parking lot in a white passenger van, six to eight kids uh, crammed into each van for, as you said, up to 39 hours. And the reason is uh, Port Isabel, the ICE uh, adult only processing center that was supposed to take them in and reunite them with their parents uh, just wasn't ready. They weren't ready despite the fact that HHS called and gave them the heads up twice before these kids uh, were brought over. And the idea that the first child was able to get off this van and see their parents after waiting uh, 11 hours uh, is, is it is hard to believe, but I feel like we've said that um, way too many times about this man-made separation crisis. You've managed to get your hands on some internal emails that, that, that are basically the, the, the contractor who's, who's working with the government and, and watching over the kids flipping out over what's going on. It's completely inappropriate in the eyes of the people that are supposed to take care of these kids. When I was on the air with you from that Brownsville shelter, the HHS shelter, the former Walmart uh, that held over a thousand young boys ages 10 to 17, I told you at the time, um, these are people that are tasked with taking good care. They're licensed social workers uh, of these separated children and they are in their care uh, because of no fault of their own, it's because the Trump administration systematically ripped them away uh, from their parents. So this contractor, BCFS, it's also the contractor that operated Tornillo and eventually advocated for shutting it down, um, wrote emails to Health and Human Services, uh, essentially saying this is unacceptable uh, and we need to come up with a plan so that this does not uh, happen again. It was elevated all the way to Commander Jonathan White, uh, who was the man in charge of spearheading the reunifications for HHS, uh, who basically said, uh, confirmed uh, the anger uh, that we could see in these BCFS emails. He said you did the right thing by raising this. Yeah. Uh, and HHS called ICE in the middle of the night in order to get these kids ultimately reunified, Chris. All right. MSNBC correspondent Jacob Soberoff with some more great reporting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.